Hey guys, we're just going to be very quiet. We've actually just bumped a pride of lions on foot now. And a few hundred meters behind us is some buffalo. And we're not going to stay very long here because these guys are probably trying to ambush that buffalo at this waterhole. And they know that they must come and drink. So just to be respectful to them, we're going to move out of the area. We decided to actually opt for the vehicle and view them from the vehicle instead of disturbing them. As I've noticed that there was a large number of tracks for cubs as well. And you never want to really upset a female with cubs because they can very quickly charge you. And we also don't want to disturb them in terms of their success of attempting to hunt on the buffalo. They're most likely looking at the herd, seeing if there's any sick, injured or weak individuals. I'm just going to be dead quiet and let you enjoy the lions. I just can't believe how many small ones is in this group. It's absolutely amazing how many cubs is here. It's often believed that males don't hunt, which is entirely untrue. They do hunt. They can make their own kills. But if somebody else can do the job for you, why not? A few film the interesting things how you can separate males from females, and I'm sure most of you know this already, is that the males have got manes. And the larger the mane, the more dominant the individual, and the more likely a female is actually to choose that specific male.